Hi, this is Donnie Smith, and I'm going to talk about hammer-on dolly, hammer-off dolly, and some of the tools used for that. Uh, body hammers, they have different sizes and shapes to fit the contour of the panel. Um, you know, you have different faces. Uh, you got something like that would work good for a body line. Uh, if you have a small high that you just need to tap down, let's say it was a little bit high right there, you know, you can use that, tap that down. Uh, especially when we used to use the... Uh, get to both sides and you can do the the pick and file you know you can pick your highs down file it down until you get it you know completely perfect without the use of body filler but so that's a pick hammer i also have a uh, hammers to help shrink the metal whenever metal becomes uh, stretched has little teeth on it and when you hit it helps uh keep the metal from stretching so different types of hammers you know for different contours and different things that you're doing i also have different type of dollies this is a comma or wedge dolly and you know if you have something that has a lot of curve to it you know that would work good or if something has a body line that's where you're going to reach behind the panel and use that for either hammer on or hammer off or whatever technique that you're doing so you always want your dolly to fit the the damage that you're working on have heel dolly you know that's a like a heel on your show shoe you know for different shapes you got something real flat if you're needing something flat uh, you know slightly rounded and different edges that you can use on that. Again, we got a toe dolly. It has a real nice uh, flat area for something real flat. It has a low crown area and different shapes that you can use for that. And then we have a combination dolly, and this has a you know quite a few different areas. Something curved, you know, flatter, and you know this comes in real handy for a lot of different areas whenever you can use the hammer and dolly method. We also have uh, spoons. These can work good. Let's say that I couldn't get back in here. You can kind of use this as a dolly to help pry up for areas you can't get to with the hammer. Uh, you can also use this for spring hammering. If you had a kink in a hood or something, like right here, and you wanted to, uh, the blow to be spread out more than just a hammer face, you know, you can put it right there and hit that like that and help spread the blow out. Um, so that, that works good. And this is a slapping file. And this is a, you use this kind of like a hammer uh, and dolly method. You use a dolly with it. You push up on the lows here and you can use this kind of like a hammer on dolly method. And then you slap the top of the metal on here like this. One thing you want to do is make sure when that hits it straight. Um, if it's not, if you hit like that, it's going to dent the metal. So make sure when it comes down, it's straight. To help and this is for your final stages of straightening to help uh, you know straighten the metal it used to work real good for metal straightening metal finishing uh, but I still find it handy when I can use it when I have access to both sides of the panel one thing about holding a body hammer talk about that just briefly uh, you don't want to really hold it like a framing hammer like you're like you're building a house or anything you know you want to use leave your wrist use more of your wrist and I'll also kind of direct the damage in the direction I want it to go. So, you know, use your wrist, kind of a series of smaller strikes. You never want to repair metal, you know, trying to beat it to death. So, a series of smaller strikes. And a guy once showed me, and I use this technique sometimes, uh, I don't think it's really a textbook answer, but if you kind of point your finger towards the bottom like that, that helps you aim. So, kind of helps you uh, guide your hammer a little better. And I kind of got in the habit of doing that sometimes, and I'll, I'll, see, I'll catch myself doing that sometimes, and you know, it really works good. And again, whenever that hammer strikes, make sure that the face is flat, it's not hitting the side or anything like that, and uh, kind of hit it in the direction you know, you're wanting to go. So there's a low here, high here. I would kind of hit that high area, you know, as I had the dolly or whatever method, you know, stud welder gun pulling up to help roll that metal rather than just trying to force it. So that's basically the hammer and dolly tools used to straighten metal.